Hello, it's Martin and welcome back to the avionics upgrade videos. Uh, part 2 today is going to be the first flight with the new Abidine IFD 550 and IFD 440. As you recall from part 1, everything checked out on the ground, the databases were updated, so we should be good to go. The installation manual uh, lists a few tasks that need to be verified in flight to call it done. And I uh, created a little checklist to go through these things today and uh, of course in general I uh, am really excited to take these units up in the air and uh, and uh, see how they work and see if they are as intuitive to operate as everybody says. I have been practicing with the IFD iPad app. It's a little simulation that uh, Avidyne offers on the Apple App Store um, and that's probably very helpful for many things but not all. The, the real thing is a little different applying it in the real airplane is going to be a little different so um, curious what all I find and um, let's go flying. Chicago Midway, KMDW. Information Foxtrot's current at Cedar Rapids, altimeter 3000. Hazardous weather information for Iowa and surrounding areas available on high watts flight service frequency. And we'll go, we'll go Cedar Rapids. We'll go Victor 156 to Moline. From Moline, we'll go Victor 8 to Joliet and then direct. So I can see all the waypoints on these airways are. Um, are in here now and I will activate that flight plan and I will activate the leg from Cedar Rapids to Razy on Victor 156. Okay, I have my checklist here. We'll be filling that out during the flight. Make sure I don't forget to test any of the things that uh, the book, that the installation manual said I needed to test. And we'll use this uh, initial call and all the other frequencies today to uh, to do a radio check. When it says, your tank Bravo is ready for taxi with uh, Foxtrot at the Northwest T. It's, uh, request full length, please. That answer zero, Tango Bravo, runway 27 full length via Alpha, cross runway 31 at Alpha. Runway 27 via Alpha, cross 31 at Alpha. Finance 7 Zero Tango Bravo, and I'm testing a new radio. Uh, how do you read me? Finance is Zero Tango Bravo, you're loud and clear. Thank you. Okay, now we're of course not going to Chicago. Let's do a flight plan to Vinton instead. Envoy 3479, Zero Rapids Tower, runway 27, clear to land. See that's Tower Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, ready for departure 27. Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids Tower, traffic is Embraer on a three mile left base, turn right heading 290, runway 27, clear for takeoff. Yep. Right heading 290, clear for takeoff, runway 27, Bonanza 7, Zero Tango Bravo. Clear runway, clear approach. from the left. Airspeed alive. Temperature pressure good. 
positive rate here up. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, contact departure, have a good flight. Contact departure, Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, thank you. Zero F departure, good afternoon, Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, 1600. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, Cedar Rapids departure, radar contact, BFRL to your discretion, resume all navigation. Bonanza 7 Zero Tango Bravo, roger, all navigation, and uh, how do you read me on this radio? Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, coming in a little loud and clear. Thank you. Okay, so, we have been to, and my bearing is 328. Receive some VORs. That's uh, coming in very loud and clear. Same here. All right. Let's see if we can receive it. That VOR is uh, one five. One seven five. About right. And that cross checks on the number one. So we did the com check on both one and two. We did the nav check on both one and two. Let's see if we can couple the autopilot. Turn us back to with Spinton. That is a bearing of 331. And there we are. Track into his mid. Okay, the next thing I want to do is check the attitude indicator while doing some maneuvers. And it's bumpy. We'll do a right turn. And a left turn. See if we can do the RNAV to runway 27 on our own, which will be to Utus and hold there. Utus. And there we will hold. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo. I would like to do a uh, practice RNAV 27 approach on my own uh, to Utus and with the course reversal at Utus. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, Roger. You can uh, proceed as requested and maintain VFR. Uh, proceed as requested and maintain VFR. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo. Thank you. King Air 5, Mike Sierra. Traffic no factor. Contact Chicago Center 132.8. Good day. 328, so long. Five cross Iowa City VOR at 2500, clear VOR Alpha Approach, Iowa City Airport. And let's see, at Utah's, we gotta be 2700 to wave him. Looks like we're pretty close to the uh, magenta line. There's also this bird's eye view, which shows us approaching at the hole. 
Okay, we're approaching the uh, hold pigs. Make a teardrop entry. I don't have GPS steering, so I will have to do that manually. Oh, never mind, it says parallel entry. Bravo, are you going to be full stop inbound at this time? Affirmative, Bonanza, Zero Tango Bravo. Bonanza, Zero Tango Bravo, Roger, make straight in, 27, and uh, if you can give me 120 knots or better, that'd be great. Straight in, 27, 120 or better, Bonanza, Zero Tango Bravo. Okay, switch to LPV. We have the autopilot coupled. Look at that artificial horizon, isn't that beautiful? Aviation bars are there. Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, contact tower, good day. Contact tower, Bonanza Zero Tango Bravo, have a good day too. Zero Tower, Bonanza Seven Zero Tango Bravo, approaching runway uh, 27. Bonanza Seven Zero Tango Bravo, Zero Rapids Tower, runway 27, clear to land. 27, clear to land, Bonanza Seven Zero Tango Bravo. Hey, fight scope in the set. Here, down and locked. Landing checklist. Here down and locked, landing light is on, mixture enriched, comes on short final. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. I did a few other things which I've not included in this video, like fly an ILS approach, do more radio checks on other frequencies, and I duplicated most of these tests for the two devices, the IFD 550 and the IFD 440. I did not find anything that didn't work. However, many times I had to pause and think about how to do something. It will take me a while to really understand the new devices and operate them efficiently. Some observations from my very first experience with the Aberdyne IFDs. The attitude indicator, which I thought was merely a backup should my mechanical attitude indicator ever fail, is really nice. With the deviation bars right there, it has everything I need to see all in one place. It really makes me want to have an electronic PFD now. I was also very curious how well the Jefferson charts worked on the Aberdyne IFD 550. This unit has a nice large display but its screen is no match for an iPad with many more pixels to show a full approach played very clearly. It's good to know the Jap charts are there as a backup, but I think I will keep my iPad around on most flights. 
The radio quality is noticeably better than before. I can hear ATC more clearly, and ATC can hear me well from some places on the ground where they couldn't hear me before, like between the rows of hangars. For the time being, I'm limiting myself to flying in good weather only until I can practice IFR procedures some more, because decision height on an ILS in the clouds is not the place where I want to experiment with how to navigate on the missed approach segment. I'll keep you updated on my progress and on my findings as I get to know the IFDs better. So watch out for more videos with the uh, IFD and, um, and also the install video for the uh, JPI EDM 930 is coming soon and I uh, look forward to uh, seeing you in Oshkosh. Fly safe. Bye bye.